Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to go through creating a roughing and a finishing pass in the cam workbench. Before we do that though let's go ahead and just show you what version of FreeCAD we're using. And do that by hitting help and about FreeCAD. And here you can see I'm using version 1.0.2. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through and create the cam operations for a roughing pass and a finishing pass. And there are many ways you can do that, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. And then that'll give you an idea that you can use as a reference. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, for this video, we already have modeled a piece of wood with just a simple pocket in it. And that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna do a roughing pass, clear out the most of the material, and then a finishing pass just to go around the edge. So we're gonna go into, from the part design, we're gonna go into the cam workbench, and we're gonna create a new job. I'm just gonna leave that be default. My new job is here. I'm gonna open this up just so you can see it, because we don't need to see the model for this part. So in my setup, I am going to um, choose use the existing solid and I'm going to pick the model and I am going to set my origin. So let me just pop that open quickly. We are going to move the origin. You see the origin is right in the middle there. And what I want to do is I want to move the origin to this point over here. So I'm just going to select that point and I'm going to say set origin. Now my origin is over here on this corner because that's where I always start from. And then as far as tools are concerned, I'm just going to leave the default tool in there. I'm going to give it some speeds here. So my horizontal speed, maybe 1500. And my vertical speed, I like that to be a little slower so I just go with 200 spindle speed doesn't matter because it's not gonna take be taken into account in my cam so my uh, my spindle is actually a, a router so you just turn it on there is no speed control okay as far as getting started our output we want to make sure we've got the right processor post processor selected i'm going to just select the generic one for now because that's what i'm going to use and that's our setup done so we're just going to say okay for that and now what we want to do is we want to do a couple of operations so i'm just going to turn that model so i can see it i'm going to select the base here and for my rough in operation i'm going to use the adaptive clearing and profiling so we're going to pop that open and I'm just going to move this over here and you'll see the base geometry was selected. So I selected that face. So that's that face there. Everything looks good. Extensions, we're not going to enable those. Depths, we want to make sure that we're going down to the full depth because I'm not going to leave a finishing pass for the inside. I'm going to finish the outside. What I will do is do a finish step down and I'll just make that one millimeter. So what it's going to do is it's going to cut in there and then it will cut down one millimeter. Now my step down is set to five millimeters. That's a little bit much for my router. So I'm going to change that. If you look, it's the op tool diameter. So that tool is five millimeters. So it's going down five millimeters. I'm going to make that three millimeters. And when you change these numbers, so when you do that, you need to put in millimeters. You actually have to tell it that it's millimeters that you're putting it in. So now my step down is three millimeters. I have a finish step down of two millimeters. So I'm going to get two threes. Oh, sorry, a finish of one millimeter. So I'm going to get two threes and a one. So I should get three uh, cuts. My safe heights, I'm going to leave those as my defaults. And then the operation itself. What we're going to do 
in here. There are a couple of things we want to do. So we're not doing the finishing profile. We're going to force the clearing inside to out. And we're going to have our step over here. Step over is 1%. That's not going to be enough. So that means how far the tool is going to step over. You know, it's going to go past. So I'm going to make that 21. Could even go more than that, actually. Let's go 50%. I'm going to just change that to 50. It's a percentage. So I'm going to change that to 50. Like that. And I'm going to leave the everything else as defaults. I don't think there's anything else that we need to change except for the stock to leave. So I want it to leave two millimeters around the outside edge. That's all good. I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm just going to move this window over here. We'll zoom in here. It just looks weird because the bottom's still green. So if I select over there, just to unselect that bottom face, now you can see that it's leaving space there. Of course, with this cam, I can go and take a look at that. So I can use the cam simulator and I can click on that. And we'll see what the cutout looks like. And uh, my stock is in the wrong place here. So let me see what's going on with that. Let's go into my job. Use the existing solid. Use the model. Let's try using the body. Try using the model. So the model is right over top of it. So I don't know why. When I simulate it, it should be right over top. Let's see. Ah, there it is. It's just had a glitch and now if i run it you can see it and it's happily cutting away the middle what it does with these adaptive clearing it's coming down the helix and it's going to gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger my step over is 50 percent, so it's doing half the tool right now and it is gonna widen out i'll eventually clear all of that i'm not going to make you watch the whole thing and so that's my roughing operation done. To make that say roughing operation, I can right click, rename, and I'm going to say roughing pass. So that's my roughing pass done. I'm going to cancel this over here. If you say OK, what happens is it's going to save all these cut materials over here. But if you say cancel, it'll get rid of those cut materials. So if you're not careful and you're not saying cancel, you'll end up with a bunch of cut material saves over here that you can delete safely. Okay, so for the finishing pass, I could do an, an, another adaptive clearing, tell it to do the profile and use that adaptive clearing so we have our roughing pass. Now I'm going to turn off the roughing pass just to take that um, tool pass out of the way. I'm going to select that base again. And this time I'm going to do it with a profile. So I'm going to click on the profile. And I'm just going to bring that profile over here so you can see more of it. I'm going to say um, the cut side is going to stay at the inside. You can do inside or outside. So I'm going to say it's going to be the inside. It's counterclockwise direction. There's no extra offset. And I'm going to say process the perimeter. And just going to check on my heights. So safe height, clearance height. Going to leave those as default. My depths, I want it to go to 7. My step down, I'm going to do as 4. And remember, you have to put in the units. So you have to put in the millimeters. And it's starting at zeros and end up at minus seven. And just double check my base geometry is correct. I'm going to hit apply. And I'm going to say, OK. Now I'm just going to move this over here so you can see it. I'm going to hit my cam simulation. I'm going to turn off the roughing pass. And we'll just see what we get. 
So it goes around the outside, goes down twice, done. That's a nice finish to size. Okay, so now we have our two passes. And if I do another simulation, I can see the rough in pass, finish in pass. So I can simulate both if I want to. And then you just have to have patience because that rough in pass takes a little while. And then it will do the finish in pass. So in this case, I can cancel that and I can just show the finish in pass if I want. So that's how I would do it. That gives me my two passes. My rough in pass is going to take out all the meat out of the middle. My finishing pass is going to come around and nicely finish off. So that is the simple way to do a rough in pass and a finishing pass and end up with something that you want. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, it's free, doesn't cost you anything, does me a big favor. Just hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. If you want to, you can buy us a coffee. You can join us on Patreon. You can join, uh, become a member here on YouTube. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. And particularly those of you who watch it right to the end. And just let me know below what you'd like to see in the next one. I'd be more than happy to do it for you. So again, if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up and share it with your friends. That would be fantastic. Thanks. And I'll look forward to making the next one.